Hey, what's going on guys, and welcome back to what will probably be my first YouTube video on this channel. Um, I was getting a lot of questions lately as to regards on some of the design features on my house and as to exactly how I had done it. So I figured I'd just, um, I guess, show you guys. So, as far as these pillars go, it's probably one of the number one questions I get as to how I've made these pillars. So, um, from a glance, it just simply seems to look like a protruding piece of wood. Alright, and then I'm going to show you exactly as to how I have done this. So, what you're going to want to do is, first, if you if you already build quite a bit, I'd imagine you have this ready, but you're going to need the Victorian Unlimited set. Um, and that's how you actually make the pillars, which is a very good thing because that means you don't have to spend that extra money to get the look you want everything's free and well unlimited so uh, you're gonna wanna take the, the smaller um, skinnier looking dresser and face it backwards and then you're gonna wanna go in hide mode with the slash hide and then you're gonna wanna place that dresser right above it. Alright, so as you can see, we've already got this pillar of wood, but, you know, from an angle one can see that there's handlebars on the back, and it's not really, doesn't have that edging look to it. Now, this, you don't have to have an edging look, which is actually another feature that I wanted to do up here at some point. You could actually, if I go to my blocks here, um, like this, and like this, and let's say I painted it like a white. Now it's got a wood texture sitting at a little bit below the top line of the main foundation blocks in this game. So what you're left with is a nice contrast. And in theory, you could really color this any color you want. So it's quite cool in that aspect as well. Um, but besides that, um, you're probably wondering how to get the full pillar. You're going to want to do this rotation on every, all four angles of its rotation. So, um, I can quickly show you how to do that. Also, if you lose your spot, um, or if it's hard to remember where you've placed them, you can always use one of the main foundation blocks, because when you go in hide mode, maybe I can quickly show you that real quick here. So if I use this block to like let myself know where I had placed it. It stays there when you go in hide mode, so you won't lose track of exactly where you're putting stuff. And then I believe the last ones are this, unless I'm wrong, because I kind of got a little sidetracked there. Okay, and then if we go to show with slash show, let's go look at it real quick here. Wish I was a little quicker. And it looks beautiful. It looks really weird right now, but that's because we did color one blue, so gotta keep that in mind here. So if we go to brown, you're gonna wanna just kinda spam it. You could go to all four sides and paint each individual side, but you can reach every single dresser through the crevice in between, actually. So. That also makes it quite useful because you don't have to constantly go around and finesse your paint and try and get it to be the right color on all sides. So yeah, that's the pillar. It um, Maybe it was a lot simpler than you thought. Maybe it's a bit more complicated than you thought. Either way, I think it's a very good way to um, use this dresser. It's also nice that it doesn't cost money. I mean, that's a huge win in my book. So with that aside, I actually wanted to show you some other things I had learned with these items. I like to actually use the Victorian set very often to try and get as many different, if you want, if you want to call them glitches, um, in design because they're free and I don't have to pay for it. So that means if I can make something really nice out of it, it's a huge win. 
So, in testing this many, many times, I found that if you use this, which is something I also have in my house. Alright, so let's get this going. So you're going to want to place the two facing that way. And this one's pretty simple here. Um, let's use one of our um, markers, and we're going to go and hide. And we're going to place that last one there, and then we're going to go and hide again. And then we're going to want to place them in the opposite direction. And then you're going to want to take away your marker and do slash show. And make your way back to wherever you were doing this. In my case, it's pretty far away. All right, and there you go. It's going through the pillar. You have a nice wood and, of course, double time. I should have probably turned that off before I started the video. Um, but yeah, you can color it brown, and then it matches. You just got to do that on the back side as well. This last one it will be a bit tricky to get, but you can get it in the corner up there. Or, I believe on this side too, yep, you can get it over there. So what's interesting is that technically you could make this pillar white, and then I think either way, the pillar goes over the top of the kitchen, so it, the countertop, so it looks like it's kind of embedded in it. So a little interesting feature that I thought I'd make note of. Um, we have these dressers, which um, I'm sure you're seeing a pattern now. You just face it, boom, and then you press hide, and then you'd place it next to it like this. Actually, I can do it real quick for you guys. All right, so we have it all done here, and that's what it ends up looking like. When you have a... Since the ceiling is a bit lower here, it's not going to look as good as I think it could be, but... It is kind of, actually one thing I didn't even realize is if you see how it kind of sits on top perfectly there, that's actually very interesting. I don't know, it's just the way this these items are, I think it's very unique in that aspect. And lastly, uh, there, you can use them like that. Uh, I just tried different rotations and it ends up giving like a four quadrant um, design kind of style there. Uh, it's nice. It's really, like, elegant looking and kind of just downright beautiful, if that's how you want to put it. But, so yeah, um, see you guys whenever I choose to upload another video. Um, please subscribe. Um, it'll help a lot. It'll keep me going kind of thing, motivate me to probably release more videos as well. Um, like and comment if you have any, um, things you wish to see me do in the future. I will be going over probably more of these designs, like in the back that you see here, in which you might not entirely know how I did it. I'm also going to go over a video on how to do alignments as well, because um, this uh, wouldn't have been possible if I didn't know how to align things properly. Otherwise, it would take forever to just guess. Like, you'd have to keep guessing where this is in hide mode, because each and every one of these has to merge into itself and disappears once you go in hide mode. So you have to line it up. And as you can see, these blocks don't actually line up with any of that very well. So I do have a trick to get that perfected. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.